the topic is using process mining to improve supply chain agility. And I'm speaking with Victoria Ma. She is digital and innovation lead for North America with Mibok Consulting. Hello, Victoria. Hi, Robert. How are you doing? Good. Thank you very much for being with me today. I would like to start by having you define for me just what is your definition of supply chain agility? In my definition, supply chain agility has two aspects. One is very straightforward, just the speed to execution. So the speed to process order to meet customer uh, expectations on deliver deliveries and everything. The other aspect in supply chain agility is the speed to react to changes. So uh, the volatility and dynamics in demand and changes in uh, environment and infrastructure how fast the organization to, can react to those changes. And I'm assuming you would agree that the need to do that is greater than ever, given the growing unpredictability of consumer demand and consumer practices. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, what is holding companies back from achieving it? Sounds like a great thing to have, but what are the current challenges that supply chains face in attempting to achieve agility? So the first challenge is like what you mentioned, Robert, the growth in uh, volatility and changes in demand in today's world is just outgrowing the speed of company to adapt. So uh, they're lacking the infrastructure and the process and mindset to really predict the future and making changes in a timely manner. And the second is um, the organizations usually have a robust process from strategic to planning and to execution to define how things should go. And when their deviations happen, usually this is the gray area. There's no given process, no given procedure to handle the differences. And those two combined to uh, create a challenge today to really increase the agility in supply chain. Okay, well, we're here today to talk about how process mining can help supply chains to achieve agility. But let's start by you telling me just what is process mining? Yeah, process mining, um, I will skip the theoretical definition. I want to use an analogy. So uh, think about every day, every day today, uh, we have a path of our activities, right? Uh, we get up, we, we shower, we eat um, breakfast, and then we go somewhere. So imagine every step we do, uh, we leave a digital trace. And maybe your credit card payment, or maybe your door lock, or things like that. Process mining is a technology that's able to collect all those digital footprints and start to study the timestamp of the footprint and generate a path of activities that, that we follow. Now apply that into the supply chain concept. So instead of we know our process of the day, what we do, we know the activity happening in a supply chain from for a given product or for a given case uh, of a SKU. Uh, what time it was received um, or even what time it was uh, purchased, what time we receive it, what time it was going through different steps in the warehouse and when it's being delivered. So process mining is really study the uh, traces from different supply chain systems from ERP, your WMS, WCMS and TMS and consolidate so that we can understand the whole life path of a case. Okay, well, it sounds like an extremely valuable exercise, but it also sounds like it could be, be quite a challenge in implementation. So how does one go about implementing this whole process mining initiative? Yeah, uh, first, um, this topic has been quite popular recently, enabled by vendors in, in the market who are very capable and bringing their technologies to build process mining models quicker and more scalable. Uh, that's the biggest enabler. And second, once those technologies are adopted, um, a company probably will start to look at uh, what digital footprint do I have? What traceability do I have from different system? And start to map it out and use those technologies to ingest data to a platform and start to model it and before we can get any visibility for, for the process. Modeling is a good start, but in modeling, how much of it? Are we talking about a true end-to-end -end thing here where just about every supply chain process, so to speak, and every supply chain application comes into play? You will think, right? But uh, our experience is actually even starting from a segment of the process or partial of the supply chain, there are already a lot of opportunity can be unlocked. Mm -hmm. So uh, imagine we can look at process mining for a function within um, the supply chain like the DC fulfillment. This itself 
uh, maybe just uh, one or two system as a source, but there are already opportunity to look at the bottlenecks and uh, improvement area within the DC. Or we start from order management or inventory management or procurement. And all these uh, does not need to be end to end, but depends on where the company's current challenges are there can be already a lot of opportunity just coming from an initial proof of concept. And yet the potential spread of this initiative can, is so, so, so wide that I'm wondering like who within an organization should drive such an initiative. So typically when we're talking about adopting new technology, this will probably coming from a senior management or, or chief technology or uh, officer or a special task force for the strategy or uh, hyper automation adaption, for example. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes to actual develop the models and prove a concept, uh, it needs to come from the business owners from the supply chain. So a task force for a actual project usually need two ends. One is the responsible for the IT side and technology side or uh, business intelligence team. The other is the supply chain domain team. So if the topic is in the warehouse operations, then the warehouse manager, right? If it's about order management or order acceptance, that's customer service. Um, and we can um, apply the same concept for other proof of concept areas. But no matter what, in each case, the initiative goes top down from the strategy for automation, for technology adop adoption, and each project needs the technology and business two sites always together. Okay, so it can start from many different places. What are the potential obstacles or challenges that companies might expect to experience as they undertake implementation of a process mining initiative? Um, the first challenge I can think of is um, this technology requires digital footprint. So if the process today is not followed by any system and we may write on a paper or a lot of email and no traceability, um, this will be a, a more challenging start. And it doesn't mean it's not possible, just more effort um, to really establish rules and start to track. Uh, the second challenge I can think of is the uh, typical mindset to think uh, data is data are everything and data are always telling the truth. And uh, chances are we may not interpret the data in the right way. And it's a good uh, watch out uh, to really use business domain knowledge to understand data and to bridge those two aspects all together. Well, thank you so much, Victoria Ma, for telling us a little bit about how process mining can lead to better supply chain agility at a time when that's needed more than ever. But I do want to take a moment to ask you specifically about Meebok Consulting. Where do you folks fit into the picture today and what types of services are you offering your client base? Yep, and thank you for the question. I will actually link it to my answer to uh, the last question, what, um, what it takes or the organization uh, needed and also the challenge to implement process mining. Uh, we actually fit right in the middle. So I mentioned we need to connect business domain knowledge, in our case, the supply chain operations with uh, the IT world. So knowing the technology, knowing the, the system and knowing uh, the process mining technology all together. What Meebok offer is we are the party to bridge these two aspects together. We can help um, business understanding what the technology can provide and the right way to build it. We can help technology to be more realistic and fit into the actual supply chain operation. And this is the service Meebok are offering. We can build models using different process mining technology for our client, and we can also implement it, and we can also support the value creation um, based on that. And our goal is really to um, bring technology to supply chain. At the same time, make the solutions fit to actual supply chain problems. Victoria Ma of Meebok Consulting, thank you again for talking to us today about supply chain agility, process mining, and a little bit about Meebok Consulting itself. Thanks very much for being with me today. Thank you.